Hi dear friends, in this video we are going to discuss the packet tracer activity connecting a wired and wireless. Here we can see our addressing table and here we can see the objectives in part 1 uh, connect it to the cloud then in part 2 connect rural 0 then connect remaining devices and verify connections then examine the physical topology. Okay, coming to uh, part 1 connect to the cloud. Step 1. Connect to the cloud to rural 0. At the bottom left, click the orange lightning icon to open the available connections. Then choose the correct cable to connect rural 0, uh, FA0 0 to cloud uh, Ethernet 6. Cloud is a type of switch, so use a copper straight through connection. If you attach the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn green. Coming to connections, so here we will select copper straight through then uh, coming to rural 0 here we will connect to FA0 0 and uh, coming to the cloud here we will connect to Ethernet 6 so here on this cable we can see a green light that was simple and now we will come to step 2 uh, connect the cloud to cable modem. Uh, here we can see our cable modem. Choose the correct cable to connect cloud coax 7 to modem port 0. If you attach the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn green. Coming to our connection, uh, here we can see uh, in on cloud we have to connect to uh, coaxial. So here we will uh, select uh, coaxial cable. Here we can see that uh, coaxial. Then coming to cable modem, we will connect to port 0. Then coming to cloud, we will connect to coaxial 7. Okay, it's green now. Now we will come to part 2, connect router 0. Step 1, connect router 0 to uh, router 1. Here we can see those uh, routers. Uh, choose the correct cable to connect router 0, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. 2 router 1 serial 0 slash 0. Use one of the available serial cables. So if you attach the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn green. That's great. Here we will use uh, serial DCE from router 0 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 to router 1 serial 0 slash 0. It's green. Now we will come to step 2, connect router 0 to netacad.pka. Here we can see netacad.pka. Choose the correct cable to connect router 0 FA0 slash 1 to netacad.pka FA0. Routers and computers traditionally use the same wires to transmit 1 and 2 and receive 3 and 6. The correct cable to choose consists of these crosses wires. Although many NICs can now uh, auto-sense uh, which pair is used to transmit and receive, router 0 and attacker.pk do not have auto-sensing NICs. If you attach to the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn green. So uh, this uh, router and server consider the same device. So we have to use a crossover cable. So coming to our connection, so here we can see our copper crossover. Coming to router 0. FA0 slash 1 that is fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 to this uh, server netacad.pka fast Ethernet 0. We can see this cable is green. I mean uh, these uh, lights are uh, uh, turned to green. Now we will come to step 3. Uh, connect router 0 to the configuration terminal. Choose the correct cable to connect a router 0 console to configuration terminal RS232. This cable does not provide network access to configuration terminal but allows you to configure router 0 through its terminal. If you attach the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn black. Okay, it's only for accessing the configuration terminal of this router 0. So we have to use a console cable. Here we can see that. Then coming to router 0, we will connect to console. Then on this PC a configuration terminal, we will connect to RS232. Quite easy, right? So uh, now we can move to uh, part 3, connect remaining devices. Step 1, connect router 1 to switch. 
Choose the correct cable to connect router 1, fast Ethernet 1 slash 0 to switch fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. If you attach the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn green. Allow a few seconds for the light to uh, transition from uh, amber to green. Coming to the connection, so here we will use uh, copper straight through and coming to router 1. And we will connect to a fast Ethernet 1 slash 0. But uh, here we cannot uh, use the copper straight through. Uh, here we can see the symbol. We have to use the fiber. Okay, so we will press escape. And here we can see fiber. So we will select fiber. Then coming to router 1. Fast Ethernet 1 slash 0. To the switch. Fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Okay, and now uh, we can see this uh, uh, light is in green. Coming to step 2, connect a cable modem to wireless router. Choose the correct cable to connect a modem port 1 to wireless router internet port. If you attach to the correct cable, the link lights on the cable will turn green. Okay, coming to connections, so here we can see different devices. We will use the copper straight through. Coming to a cable modem. We will connect to port 1, then coming to wireless router, we will connect to internet. Now coming to uh, step 3, connect to wireless router to family PC. Choose the correct cable to connect wireless router Ethernet 1 to family PC. If you attach to the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn green. Here also we will uh, select copper straight through, coming to wireless router and we will connect to Ethernet 1. Then coming to family PC, fast Ethernet 0. Okay, it's working. Done. Now we will come to part 4, verify connections. Step 1, test the connection from family PC to netacad.pka. Open the family PC command prompt and ping netacad.pka. Coming to our family PC. We'll go to desktop command prompt and here we will give the command ping to netacad.pka and here we can see we uh, get the uh, replies coming to b open the web browser and the web address uh, http colon double slash netacad.pka shall we give this address okay coming to family pc Oh, here we will use the web browser and uh, here we will give the URL uh, as specified in our activity. Here is that. Go. And here we can see our web page, netacad.pka. My favorite page. Okay. So coming to step 2, ping the switch from home PC. Open the home PC command prompt and ping the switch IP address of to verify the connection. So we have to get the IP address of our switch. So here we can see our addressing table and here is switch. Here is the IP address. Or we can go to the switch. We will try. We will go to CLI. Enable. Then here we will give a show running config. And here we can see uh, VLAN 1 IP address. So we will copy this address. Okay. Now we will come to home PC, desktop, command prompt, and here we will ping to switch. Here is the IP address. We already copied. Okay, we are waiting for the uh, reply. Request timed out. And here we can see uh, the replies. Uh, Packet sent for received to lost to 50 percentage loss. No need to worry, we will try once more so that we will get 100 percent zero percentage loss. Here we can see that. Okay. Coming to step 3 open router 0 from configuration terminal, then open the terminal of configuration terminal and accept the default settings. Then press enter to view the router 0 command prompt. Then type show IP interface brief to view interface 
uh, statuses. Okay. Coming to our configuration terminal PC, here is that. Desktop, here we have to use a terminal and uh, here uh, we will uh, leave as the default uh, configuration. Then we'll press OK. And here is server 0. Enable, here we will give a show IP interface brief. And here we can see the details. Fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, here we can see the IP address. Status and protocol, both are up. Fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, here we can see the IP address and here we can see the status and protocol, both are up. Coming to serial 0 slash 0 slash 0, here we can see the IP address and here we can see the status and protocol, both are up. Well, that's all in verifying uh, connections. Now it's time to move to part 5, uh, examine the physical topology. Step 1, examine the cloud. Click the physical workspace tab or press shift plus P and shift plus L to toggle between the logical and physical workspaces. So uh, click the home city icon. Here we can see our physical workspace. We will uh, click here. And here we can see our home city. Then click the cloud icon. How many wires are connected to the switch in the blue rack? Coming to our cloud. Here we can see uh, two wires are connected to uh, the switch. Here we can see those. Click back to return to home city. Okay. Now we will come to step 2. Examine the primary network. Click the primary network icon. Hold the mouse pointer over the various cables. What is located on the table to the right of the blue rack? Again we will go to this uh, home city and here we can see a primary network. We will click on this. So here we can see uh, various cables. Here we can see router 0, fast ethernet 0 slash 1. Here we used copper uh, crossover. Here we can see console, copper rollover. Here we can see serial 0 slash 0 slash 0, uh, source port. Uh, we connected DCE. Okay, and what is located on the uh, table to the right of the blue rack? So here is our blue rack. All right, set of it, what we can see, nothing there. Oh, it's here. We can see configuration terminal. Now uh, click back to uh, return to home city. Okay. Now we will come to uh, step three, examine the secondary network. Click the secondary network icon, hold the mouse pointer over the various cables. Uh, why are there two orange cables connected to each device? Coming to our secondary network, here we can see a uh, fiber uh, connection and here we can see uh, serial DCE or DT, we will check it, it's DCE and here we can see fiber, uh, these are the connections here. They asked a question, uh, uh, why are there two orange cables connected to each device? Here we can see those uh, uh, two orange cables. So this is a uh, fiber connection. Okay. Uh, so usually fiber cables uh, comes in pairs. Uh, we know that uh, one for the transmit and the other one is uh, to receive. So here also we can see that fiber. Again, uh, click back to return to home city. Coming to the last step, examine the home network. Why is there an oval mesh covering uh, the home network? We will search for our home network. Yes, uh, here we can see that. And uh, uh, here is an uh, oval mesh covering. Uh, maybe uh, it uh, represents the range of the wireless network. 
coming to B. Click the home network icon. Why is there no rack to hold the equipment? So we will come to a uh, home network. Oh, it's blank. We will uh, scroll down and here we can see family PC, uh, home PC and here we cannot see any uh, rack. Uh, maybe because the uh, home networks uh, do not uh, ha um, have any racks. And finally, click the logical workspace tab to return to the logical topology. Okay, we will uh, click here. We are back. Well, so using this packet racer activity, uh, we gain a little uh, knowledge. Connecting a wired and wireless. So here we can see the completion status. It's 80 out of 80. So friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below. Also consider subscribing. Stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.